Hello students, welcome once again to a series of videos on differential equation. So we are actually, uh, you know, moving on to the last parts of differential equation. And uh, th these are more or less the last parts that are left. So one, in the previous video, we spoke about self adjoint equation. Okay, if you remember, self adjoint equation right and I had explained everything on this today we are going to do an important question on this okay in a, a small but important question let's say uh, consider this an equation given to us x cube y double dash okay plus 3 x square y dash plus y is equal to 0 is given to us so here here a0 x is what you can easily make out a0 x is what the first part the x cube and a1 x is equal to 3 x square isn't it students that implies a dash 0x is equal to 3x square correct isn't it that is actually equal to a1x so you see hence what will be the self adjoint equation then so the self adjoint the self adjoint equation The self adjoint equation is a zero x y dash whole dash plus a two x y is equal to zero. So that comes how much then? X cube. Okay, y dash whole dash plus y is equal to 0 so that is your self adjoint equation students isn't it right so now what we do is we move on to one of the questions a bonus question I want to do for you okay students so let's do one of these bonus questions and I found uh, that this is one of an ex one of a uh, very important question okay appeared in one of the exams okay but uh, let's not talk about the exam I'll just write the question for you okay the question is given as it's a question very important question okay it is given as d2y dx square minus 1 by x dy by dx is equal to 1 and y0 is given as y1 which is equal to 0 okay so we need to solve this we need to find g of x comma t that is green's function that is green's boundary value problem so you know what to do okay the function g of x comma t is given as f1 x comma t all right if x is less than equal to t and f2 x comma t if x is if t is less than equal to x sorry if t is less than equal to x so here what happens is you will notice that let's start uh, let's take the let's take this color so the first one a f1 of x comma t will be equal to minus half all right t 1 minus x square all right comma next one b f2 
of x comma t will be equal to minus half x square 1 minus t square okay so now in that and again again f1 of x comma t will be equal to right uh, let's say um, uh, minus 1 by 2x right t square 1 minus x square comma uh, f2 of x comma t will be equals to minus 1 by 2t right x square 1 minus t square now again that means again okay, f 1 of x comma t is equal to minus 1 by 2t all right x square 1 minus t square okay comma f2 of x comma t is equal to minus 1 by 2 sorry minus where is it gone minus 1 divide by 2 okay t 1 minus x square okay, and f1 of x comma t is equal to minus 1 by 2t x square 1 minus t square comma f2 of x comma t is equal to minus 1 by 2x okay t square 1 minus x square so students go through this question this was the last part of it we shall continue with this and the new part in the next video so thank you for watching students we shall continue with this in the next part bye bye see you in the next part